Hi everyone, it's Shooter Rex here. So today I'm back at my favorite place to shoot here in Waldros, Wisconsin. Uh, being an outdoor area where I was able to set up my uh, steel targets, my AR500 and steel plates and a 10 inch gong. This by the way is owned by the Luritzen uh, family who happens to be my sponsor, uh, which is the Luritzen Sports Shop here in Waldros, Wisconsin. And today I'm going to be shooting this Canik TP9 SFX with a Vortex Venom. I'm really close to shooting about a thousand rounds through this gun. And on my other video, I was testing out a holster for my SIG 1911 Max, which I'm considering to compete in in the future for single stack. This one is the gun that I will be competing with when I uh, venture and try uh, carry optics. So today we're just gonna get uh, some training done using the Venom and being able to spot the red dot. So here we go. So first we have the red dot sight. We're gonna try to do both where I'm gonna try and use the front sights by itself and see if I'm gonna hit the target or miss it and then I'm gonna rely solely on the red dot. First, I'm just gonna rely on the front side itself. Works, try it again. One more time. Works, try it again. One more time. Now I'm just gonna use my point of aim using the red dot. That was on the body plate. Now I'm gonna try it on the AR500, the smaller square and circle. Okay, so that one I lost the red dot. Time to turn it on again. As long as the red dot stays on, I'm able to hit my targets. I'm just uh, wondering why all of a sudden my red dot disappeared or it immediately turned off on me. So now we have about another 20 rounds. Uh, this time I'm going to try to shoot it about 20 feet. Um, let's see how it goes.
So that was 20 rounds, um, about 20 feet. I had a couple of misses there, but I think I'm very pleased with where my red dot is um, sighted. And as long as it stays on, I should be able to hit my target. Still got to work on um, improving my grips on this Canik. Definitely has a different ergonomics compared to my Walther PPQ. Um, I did have the smaller back strap on this. And so it's just a matter of getting used to holding it the right way. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Once again, this is Shooter Rex.